that sound? <laughs> I like that seat. Oh, yeah. Custom. In case you're a new person, that's what I was sitting on. <laughs> but you know what? It's comfortable. It's the right height. Right height. What do you mean by that? Not too short, not too oh, tall. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, I'm going to take my rock that I keep here so the hood won't latch. Always disconnect the battery in case you're wondering why there's a rock here. Okay. I'll set that right there. And I'll set this right here, out of the way, so I don't trip on it. Okay. Today is the day we, Mrs. P.I.B. and myself, have been waiting for. We're going to put penetrol on this thing hopefully it's a cool day today and mrs pib looked on her phone and at the uh, sweet spot for putting penetrol on which doesn't matter to me but it's supposed to be between like 53 and 80 no 57 and 83 i think that's what you said anyway it don't make no difference i put it on whatever but it does help if you keep the if you keep the vehicle cool because penetrol you're going to find out as, if you watch the video that penetrol <laughs> penetrol will run like she just did up to me <laughs> and it's a liquid penetrol will run have runs in it and the harder the metal is the more it will run so i'm trying to do this on a cool day and there's so, a gentle breeze yeah there's a gentle breeze so, That'll help dry it. Come on. Well, I left my container there. This is what I'm using. Penetrol. And I think you can get it at Lowe's or Lowe's. I, I checked Walmart. Any hardware store. Yeah, hardware store. But I, I don't think Walmart had it. They had uh, Walmart closest where we live just had boiled linseed oil, which is good too. Uh, but I'm this gonna, is more permanent. Uh, yeah, I like this better, personally. But either one's fine. It don't matter. Uh, it seems to last a little bit longer, in my opinion. And if you want to see another expert on this stuff right here, go to YouTube. Which, well, you're watching YouTube. On YouTube, there's my buddy, Brian. His name is GM1038. GM1038. He uses this a lot as well, so check out his videos. He goes into detail as well. Anyway, before I forget it, this stuff is uh, really flammable. So don't be smoking or grilling hamburgers or decide you're going to light a uh, campfire or whatever with this stuff around. Uh, it's combustible. So this is it. I've already got me one of those dollar store, probably dollar twenty-five now, uh, sponges to wash cars with. I've cut me off two slices of it with the scissors because, and I like these little pointed edges too, and I'll show you why after a while, but uh, I cut off two in case my container gets cat contaminated with uh, debris, whatever from, you know, whatever might be in the brush, you know, if it gets a whole bunch in there. In my container, I'm, I'm fixing to use while, you know, I, I can switch to another brush, or a sponge, sorry. I can't think. Anyway, uh, I'll pause this here and I'll get back with you. My wife, Mrs. P.I.B., is uh, wiping this thing down from dust and everything. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have a dog. I don't. It's just the way it is here. But uh, she's just wiping the whole thing down from dust. Uh, I sanded it. If you're not familiar with this vehicle, it's a 76 Chevy Blazer, two-wheel drive. That belongs to Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop in Ten Mile, Tennessee. Tim is on Facebook. Just type in Gas Axe Chop Shop and uh, you'll find him. Axe is spelled A-X-E, not A-X, A-X-E. So, uh, this is his vehicle. So, I, I get a lot of comments, well, why don't you do this or do that? Sometimes in the videos I've been posting on this, well, it, it's not mine. I'm just doing what Tim wants me to do to it so i mean everybody you know on the comments you know uh it, it the vehicle belongs to tim i wish it was mine 
but it is not. So uh, I'm just doing this, helping Tim out. We're helping one another out. If you go back to the beginning of the videos when we first started this, uh, working on this thing, uh, he has my 78 GMC truck Shannon, and Tim does uh, professional metal work and fabrication. He's going to put the rockers in on Shannon and some more uh, metal work here and there on the truck. It's not it's not really that much. Uh, no, nothing for Tim. I mean, I mean he can be done in just a little bit because he he's done this a bunch. Hang on. Anyway, uh, I forgot what I was saying. Had a phone call. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so we're, uh, oh, he's working on Shannon, and he also has my 84 Chevy truck left turn bill. So we're kind of doing one another a favor, I guess you'd say. Of course, uh, you know, Tim's doing the metal work, and, uh, you know, I'm sure I'm going to have to be a, uh, you know, going along with pay. I have to pay him for the metal work, but I'm hoping to maybe offset it just a little by doing this. But you know, we're friends, and that's what we do. Whew, got that out of the way. Now, I've got me. Uh, hang on. Okay, guys, just to get you up to speed, you can see what Mrs. Pib is doing. She's painting this with a marker. Yeah. She's doing that on both sides. Doesn't have to be perfect. I just want it to make it look like it's got a little bit of life left in it, which means a little bit of paint. I think the hood turned out great from painting. Didn't you? Oh, yeah. I mean, it... It doesn't look uh, like it's been painted. Actually, I just... I mean, it just now hit me that I did paint the hood, and I... I mean, it looks so natural, I'd, I forgot I even done it. This vehicle's set for a few days, by the way, because of the weather. We've had rain and stuff, so, and uh, Tim was telling me, Tim Dixon was telling me that uh, he was going to give me like two weeks to get this done, but uh, it's been a little bit longer because of the, like I said, the weather, and we do everything outside, rattle can painting and everything like that, but I'm, this is kind of like the icing on the cake, and uh, I'm hoping to maybe get a good part of it done today. With the penetrol, and when I do this stuff, in case I forget to mention, I'm trying to remember everything that somebody might ask. When I put penetrol on, I, I'll pull it in the garage again and let it sit for like a day, like 24 hours, even longer, 30 hours, two days. I just want to make sure it's good and dry and there's no contaminants getting on it. I'm sorry, guys, about the dog. It's, I, do, I don't have a dog, but anyway, uh, that's what we're doing. I, I've got to do... When you look at the vehicle or you do a vehicle, there's a whole lot to do. You know, you got to go around all this and everything. And another suggestion is keep you some napkins, one in each pocket because, paper yeah, paper towels, because you will need them. This penetrol will get on your hands and we've got some, uh, let me see if I can find them. Yeah, gloves. Like this. Real cheap gloves, and from the Dollar Tree, probably a dollar twenty-five now. Got me a, tra a plastic bag there to put my gloves in, so I don't handle everything when, when I don't want everything real sticky. Uh, I've already, my wife and I, we like to go to KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken every now and again, and uh, which it's been a while, hasn't it? Anyway, we say we get these little. Uh, chicken bowls chicken some kind of bowl meal and uh it's got mashed taters and corn and chicken bites in it so gravy. we yeah gravy and so real <laughs> yeah real healthy she said in case you didn't hear anyway uh we save these little bowls wash them out and then when i use when i put penetrol on i'll save these bowls it's just the right i mean i can hang on to it good and uh, I've already poured some penetrol in here. This is what it looks like. It's kind of clear like like water, pretty much. And I've uh, got my sponge. I'm going to stick my glove on, and then we'll uh, we'll get at it. I'm going to show you a trick. Show a trick that don't. <laughs> um, I thought this marker was out, this paint marker. Oh, yeah. And you took a 
end of a screwdriver and whacked it, and now it's coming out again real good. Yeah. I'm making sure it's not going on your shirt or on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a good little trick, isn't anyway, it? Anyway, if you think your paint marker's out, whack hit it, it, whack it with a, it don't matter, a rock, a hammer, you know, just gently. I mean, don't beat the far out of it. Just, no, because it'll leak. <laughs> yeah, you'll have a split in the metal there, but yeah, it works out pretty good, and it's doing a good job. So, anyway, I'm going to get at it here. I'll see you guys in just a bit. Before I get started, this is the, oh my goodness. This is the hood before I get started. Let me show you around the vehicle first. If you don't care, just walking around here with me. And then when I get started, I'm going to turn on my little radio and listen to some old time rock and roll. And uh, we'll get out. Oh, yeah, I got to do door jams. There's a lot to do when you start doing penetral. So, hey, you're doing a great job. You're hired. I'll keep you. Okay. I'll get back with y'all in just a minute. Okay. Tell the difference, people? Probably can in the sun. No, you can tell it. Can you? Okay. Mm -hmm. I have it at an angle where... Oh, okay. This side is not finished. This side is finished. Drying. It's drying. Good shine. I'm using the roller to put it on and he's using the sponge to um, catch any runs. Okay guys, Mrs. P.I.B. is going to do the other side with this roller. This is what a GM Tim does. GM Tim 38 on YouTube does. So we watched him do his truck, or we helped him on his black long bed truck that he had here a while back. And uh, boy, it turned out great. So uh, we're doing this on this hood. You just have to really go, you know, make sure you don't miss any spots. Back and forth long strokes don't go this way. Go this way. If you're doing this on your vehicle, and make sure, even when you think you're all done and it's dried, you'll still have a run. So you have to be really careful. We lucked up on a, kind of a cool day and the sun is not on this truck yet so this is what she done a few minutes ago as you can see it's starting to kind of dry and this little bit of breeze is kind of helping it I mean you have to go along with the climate or you know the conditions of the weather I mean if the breeze is blowing obviously it's going to dry quicker and you really have to watch your runs so and there might be a couple of spots we might have to do over again. But that's what I'm for, for the, I'm the run man with my little sponge. And then I, on the top places down in here, I'll use my sponge the whole time. Uh, here's a, I'll get this with, right, right there. I see some runs. So guys, I got to let you go. See you in a bit. Okay, guys. Yeah, this. See this stuff that, we, remember I painted the hood and uh, I tried to remember where some of these spots were at. Look, look how good it looks when she, I mean, it really brings out the, the patina in the truck. Looks good. Now, I, you're probably seeing little bubbles. Those will go away. Yes, they'll flatten out. They'll flatten out. The main thing you need to do is stay uniform. Don't miss any spots. And... Look for runs. I have looked for runs, you know, and a few minutes later start seeing a run. I mean, I don't understand it. By the way, I put this rock back under the hood to kind of keep the hood flat, level, yeah. Plus, you can kind of put your weight on it uh, as you're leaning over. You do the hard part first, of course, the center of the hood. Oh, 
Okay, and somebody's going to probably ask me this. I get asked this a lot. I'm not no expert on anything. But somebody's going to ask, how long does Penetrol last? I don't know. It all depends on your weather. It depends on where you live. If you, It depends on if you keep your vehicle in a garage or not. It lasts me a long time because my C10 trucks uh, stay in a garage. And uh, I don't drive them in the rain. I don't drive them in the snow. Nothing like that. There's a spot. If you don't care, I'll, I'll, I'll close this here in just a second. I'll look for runs. But it just all depends on what you do with it. If you daily drive it and you got rain, hail, you know, uh, yeah, extreme heat, stuff like that. I mean, I don't know. It just all depends. If you're thinking about doing this, try it and see how long it lasts for you. I mean, it all depends. This truck's from Texas, and I'm sure it's a lot hotter in Texas than it is here in East Tennessee, so I mean, you just d do like, you know, I'm doing and just try it and see. So, I don't have no answer, you know, for you. You know, I can't say directly, you know, well, it's going to last two months. It's going to last two years. It, I don't know. Uh, I just don't know. So, I need to be looking for runs, y'all, and stay up at this truck. I'll see y'all in a bit. You have to really look for runs. And still, this is not going to be perfect, but it's a patina style truck. I mean, it, it's the best. Stand here and look. Huh? Let me get this run. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, we, we might have to go over this thing again. Yeah. The second time after this dries, which would be a day or so, I'm just going to go over it again. I see you got to really go over it for runs. It, just when you think you're done, go sure. back and check for runs again. The key to the whole process is don't put an excessive amount. Yeah. And if you're using a roller like my wife is, Mrs. PIB, you just about need two people. Somebody to. One to roll and one to sponge. Yeah, look for runs. Now, when I use the roller, I just touch it. I don't push down on the roller. I just. Let's look at this tailgate here. Seen a run just then, and we done this a few minutes ago. Like I said, we'll probably. We'll, yeah, there's another one. Just when you think you've got it, and if you, you're able to walk away, there'll be a run. Some of this stuff, remember, this thing's been painted once before, so some of this stuff is already Imperfections. It's, in the, it's in the paint. Yeah. yeah, it's not. It's not us. So. As you can see, the sun is coming this way, so we're trying to do Be this side, and I can do the. I'm trying to do everything in the shade. Makes life a whole lot easier. I'm still looking for runs. So, okay, show them the hood and everything, and don't trip on that. I know. Thank you. Show them the hood and the fender and, and the tailgate. And it, it, it looks a lot. Don't you just love all this? This is great. This, I, I love patina style vehicles. Like my buddy was making fun of me the other day. He said, you always say your vehicles are telling a story. Well, it is. It's telling a story. It's been painted twice that I know of just by going over the vehicle. And uh, I mean, you know, it's had, it's had some knocks and scrapes and stuff. 
Just got a story to tell. Well, guys, this is what we've got done. I've got this whole side done. Mrs. P.I.B., thank you for helping me. She's the best. Uh, got the hood. Everything is drying. And like I said, it's going to take always. There's no set time. It depends on your humidity. Yeah, 24 hours at least. That's what I do. Because in East Tennessee, it's normally pretty humid. And it takes a long time for anything to dry. So... No, not, not today. So, uh, you can see where I stopped. I've got to do all this. Of course, door jams, hood, sides of the hood, you know, where the wipers are at. And uh, I'm just trying to do everything before the sun gets up here. And I thought, well, I'll stop and do this video right here. And there, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of imperfections in the paint. This thing's been painted I know I've mentioned this already and I apologize, but you know, it's been painted at least twice. But uh I think I think it's turning out pretty good. What do you think? I like it. I do too. All the imperfections like this stuff right here is really popping as I like to say. I still gotta do this side. I was wanting to show you, can you see the difference? probably not a good example but I'm I'm trying to keep the metal from getting hot which it's fixing to do and like I said when it starts getting the metal gets hot and you put penetrol on it it starts having more runs because the metal is hot I'm going to go over this I'm going to let when I get done I'm going to let this thing dry for at least 24 hours maybe longer and uh, then I think my wife and I Mrs. P.I.B. I think we're going to do it a second time right uh, go over it again just because well for one thing Tim Dixon asked me to do it twice so I'm going to do it twice whatever the man wants that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to do it twice so and of course whenever we do this kind of stuff it seems like every bug in the county wants to come visit and see what hang you're doing <laughs> gosh that was good hang out I wish I'd have thought of that Anyway, she, she's smarter than I am. Anyway, yeah, it, hang out. But that'll come off real easy. But like I said, we're going to do it a second time. In the meantime, I'm going to move this thing over a little bit more to the left. And uh, But you can just kind of see. I mean, we've done the whole thing. And you can kind of see how shiny it is. But like I said, I, talking's not getting nothing done. And I need to get busy. So I'll see you all in a little bit. Okay guys, I moved this over to the shade. The sun is catching up to me, but with Mrs. P.I.B.'s help, and by the way, once again, I wanna thank her for helping me. I'm on my third marriage, as you've, if you've kept up with my channel, you know, and she's the best wife I've ever had by far. There's none like her. So anyway, just gonna tell you, we got the whole outside done, you, you know, the white and the blue. Uh, I'm gonna, as I said, I'm going to do this again uh, after this dries real good, but uh, I'm really, I'm really happy with it. It's still drying, but I mean, boy, this thing's, I, I, I think it's really going to turn out good. Like I said, we'll do it again one more time after it dries for a day or so. Uh, my wife is fixing something to eat. We haven't ate anything all day. We've been working on this. Since the cool of the morning, and uh, it's now getting middle of the afternoon, so a lot of people can go faster than us. That's that's great if you can, but uh, I'm always trying to make sure there's no runs, and there still might be a couple of runs. I'm not perfect, you know, either, but I mean, and like I said, a lot of the stuff that you think our runs are actually imperfections in the paint but i think this is uh gonna look really good really good uh, i've done this uh part here see how all that all these imperfections just kind of like i say pop and it it just looks good i mean it looks like looks like there's life in it and uh it kind of looks like 
uh, clear coat in a way. Uh, like I said, I don't know what Tim's going to do about the bumpers. He said something about changing them out. I don't know. It, like I said, it's his truck. I wish it was mine, but it's his. And uh, But I just like the way it looks. I mean, it looks really, really good. And I appreciate my wife's help, as I said. Uh, uh, if I can get something to eat, uh, I'm going to come back out here and uh, open up the doors and do the door jams and, you know, all that kind of stuff. I need to get in here as well and do all this in here. And, uh, of course, I got to do all this. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do everything just like it was mine. And I'm glad I put that rock back up there. It kept everything kind of level. Here comes my plane. But, uh, stand back and let you, hopefully I can get over here without tripping. Uh, to me it looks pretty dang good. I mean, I think another coat, I don't know if you can make it look much better, but I'm going to put it a second coat. It looks really good in my opinion. Of course, like I said, every little bug in the neighborhood decided to come over here and visit. And I guess I would too if I was looking at a two-wheel drive 76 Blazer. But this is just kind of like, this is my style right here, this patina style. And you can have fun with it. And, you know, it's still, it still, it looks good. And I, I talked to Tim yesterday. And he was saying he's got his salt flat wheels, so these will be changed out. And as I said, his wife and Tim and his wife, she uh, Angie Dixon, she's does upholstery. She they're going to do a custom interior in it, and I think it's going to really, really turn out good. This thing starts up so easy. I really do like this truck. Uh, anyway, I just thought I'd tell you what we're doing, and. Uh, I might add some more to this video. I'm not for sure. Doing door jams is not no, it's not a big deal. But uh, I, like I said, I'm gonna let this stuff kind of dry, see what it looks like, and we'll just kind of go from there. Uh, I was trying to think. It seemed like there was something else I was gonna tell y'all. Oh, uh, Penetrol, the the Penetrol, the can that's sitting over there on the table on the porch. Uh, we've probably used uh, a quarter, there's three-fourths left of the can, if I had to guess. So, you know, with Mrs. P.I.B. helping me and stuff, I mean, we uh, used maybe a quarter of a can, in case you're wondering how many, how much uh, Penetrol does it take to do a vehicle. Now, this, looking at it, I mean, you can see it's it's not a, it's not a, what I'd call a big vehicle. I mean, if it was a truck, I'd be having to do the inside of the bed and all that stuff to make it all match, but I'm not having to on this one, so, and still it's taking me a long time. I don't know if I'm just getting old or what, but anyway, uh, I was wanting to tell you that, and if you have any questions about Penetrol that I haven't already answered in this video, I mean, just subscribe, leave me a comment, and, you know, I'll answer the best of my ability. But I got to tell you, I'm not an expert on anything. I, this, But if this was my truck, this is what I'd be doing. So, I mean, I, I do this on all mine. If you've watched my channel, I got several C10s and I finally got me an OBS truck, Sam. And, uh, you know, I do, I do just about the same thing on every one of them. I mean, it's pretty much carbon copy every summer, spring, summer. <laughs> spring, summer, and fall, I'm doing this kind of stuff because it's just what I enjoy doing. So... Anyway, I hope y'all's having a great day, and like I said, keep keep watching the video. I might uh, add some more to it, but uh, I was telling my wife, and I told her a couple of times that I sure do like those. Uh, where's my finger? Those that little dollar sponge. I uh, you can get in crevices in that, and it doesn't make a big mess. Now I've got to go over the bumpers with some steel wool. I got a little bit on the bumpers. It's no big deal. But like places like in here, that sponge, I can just get it down in there and it gets the whole thing. That's the reason I like a sponge. But And once again, do this at your own discretion. I'm not advocating anything. I'm just showing you what I'm doing today. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. You're watching Primer is Best. And uh, 
on YouTube, please subscribe. Like I said, if you have a question, I'll, I'll try to answer it best of my ability, but I'm trying to cover all the questions that most people ask. So I'm going to, if I can get, when I eat something, I think I'll feel a lot better and get my strength back and uh, get these door jams done and tailgate, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff done on it. Wind's blowing and it's in the shade and that's, golly, this is working out great today because it's supposed to be up uh, in the 90s here in a day or two and that's not going to be good as far as putting this stuff on it, my experience. So, oh yeah, you're watching Primer is Best. If you'd like to subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And uh, I'm on Instagram, Primer is Best, and uh, Facebook, Primer is Best too. I just can't get over this, how, how, how good this thing looks. Uh, oh yeah, I got a second YouTube channel called Man on a Budget that I put videos up on occasionally. If you'd like to subscribe to that, that'd be great. Man on a Budget, I'm on Instagram, Man on a Budget 1. And, uh, you know, I'd look forward to, always look forward to making new friends and getting comments from people. And I try my best to answer every comment that I can answer. Oh yeah, if you don't get an answer from me, Within a reasonable amount of time, please try again and ask me again in the comments or Instagram, whatever. Sometimes YouTube will not let me answer co a certain comments. I don't, there's no rhyme or reason. I don't know. But, uh, you know what? I'll probably end the video here. This is probably long enough, isn't it? Uh, probably going to be a long video and I apologize. I try to go as fast as I can. And, uh, I was wanting to tell you too. Uh, after I was putting the penetrol on that, you know, we bought two cans. If you're not familiar with this, please go back and start at the beginning of the videos on this 76 Chevy Blazer on Primer This Best. But that paint, I, I can't believe I told that guy to make it just a shade or two lighter. And you can't tell I've painted it. I mean, it looks, it matched the truck really good. And even, you know, the hood, I mean, it just, it just, Everything just fell together perfectly. You know, unless you're in the patina style, you're probably going, what in the world are you talking about, buddy? But really, you know, I painted the rockers, all, all that stuff. I mean, it just, it just blended perfectly. And uh, I guess it's my lucky day or blessed or whatever, but I got the right shade that actually matched the truck. So. Those two cans, like I said, were 51 bucks, and I can't afford to do that all the time, but this truck is worth it. Y'all have a blessed day. The Lord's in charge. I appreciate y'all listening to me ramble on. I'm just waiting for my wife, Mrs. P.I.B., to say, come and get it. So, I guess I'll go in here and wash up. And, uh, once again, appreciate y'all watching. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Y'all be safe. God bless y'all. See you.